what's going on everybody i am the goods on youtube tg so good everywhere else today i've got a video though for uh all my my league heads so i was over on operation sports which is what i've got up on my screen and i saw a uh, a thread called my league random events so a user by the name of the Dominator273 has created a spreadsheet, and I'll show you the spreadsheet. He's created this spreadsheet that allows us to generate random events for our my leagues. So that way, I mean, if you if you are controlling all thirty teams, or even if you're not controlling all thirty, you should still be able to get you know some storylines for your my career. So all you have to do. Let's see. I'll leave the link to this to the actual thread um, in the description so you guys can check that out. But all you have to do is go to the link. Where's the link that he provided? I'm trying to find it, guys. Sorry. Well, anyway, I'll have the link. I will definitely have the link. Um, you go to the link and then this is going to come up and then you want to go to make a copy here. And it'll say make a copy to your Google Drive. And you just click OK. I've already done that, so I can get rid of this. Now, this is actually the copy because it says copy right there. The copy that's on my Google Drive. And then when we click run, uh, it says running script. Uh, let me see. Should uh... All right, here you go. A script attached to this document needs your permission to run. You just click continue. All right, that's me, the good. So I'll click that. Uh, what is it saying? App isn't verified. This app hasn't been verified by Google yet. Only proceed if you know and trust the developer. Okay, but I don't want to go back to safety. <laughs> oh, I mean, I want to use this, so. Trying to figure out how to use this advanced. Go to recorded macros. Okay, Google hasn't reviewed this app yet and can't confirm it's authentic. Unverified apps may pose a threat to your personal data. Go to record. Oh, I'm sorry, go to recorded macros, my league random events. All right. And okay, so. At this point, I could give it access, which I guess I'm going to do, but you do this at your own risk. Um, so if you guys feel that it's too risky for you, don't do it, but I'm going to do it. I could be giving away all my data. Who knows? All right, so I'm going to press run. Oh, it's my phone going off. All right. Gonna press run. Wait, 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 wait. All right, there it goes. So now it is. It's saying I would take the Phoenix Suns, player number five, and it says surprise decline. Point guard skills. So decreased ball handle, pass accuracy, pass IQ, and what's this? And Pass vision, three to seven each. So let's archive that. And when I press archive, what it does is it takes this event and puts it down here, as you can see right there. And so I could type in the player's name. I, I would need to actually pull the game up, but let's just say um, player five is Devin Booker. So we'll put Devin, I would actually type in Devin Booker, Devin. And so, and then I would decrease his, uh, decrease these categories. It says three to seven each. So you can change the upper limit and lower limit of how much you want stats to either fall or rise. I'm actually going to change it from two to nine. 
something like that. All right, so let's run this thing again. All right, so this time it says the Wizards, player number seven, which I don't know who it is. Uh, surprise breakout shooting skills, which stats are going to go up. So it says, oh, you know what? So these stats should actually have went up by seven because that was my result over here earlier. I'm going to run this. All right, so increase mid-range and three-point by 5 to 15 each. And then when I run this, it's going to tell me, okay, well, so I'm going to increase those by five because I wanted a random number. Oh, man, I thought I had the upper limit at nine. Let's try and run it again. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to increase all those by seven for player number seven. Why is it saying team nine? I was supposed to say the Wizards. I'm going to run this one more time. We'll, we'll do Rockets. All right, so Destination Wedding. What is this? Player demands a trade to one of three teams. Wow. Run the sheet three additional times to determine the list. Player must be dealt to one of the three teams before the next trade deadline. Wow, this is crazy. I like this. I really like this. So it gives you story uh, storylines that you can use. All right, so I'm going to archive. Archive that one. So I don't know who Rockets player number 12 is, but, you know, if I was playing the game, let's just say it's, um, hmm, who's somebody on the bench? I don't know. Let's just do Austin Rivers. Let's say Austin Rivers. So, if player number 12 for the Rockets was Austin Rivers, I would type in, I'm just going to type in A. Rivers, so I don't have to type out his whole name. A. Rivers. And then I'm not going to type in a start date, but I'll just say by deadline, by trade deadline. And then... I don't know what I need to put over here. I guess I'm supposed to just copy this stuff, these results. So I'm going to copy and paste them over here. Paste. Oh. There we go. All right. That works. I actually could spread this out a little more. Bring this in a little. All right, so anyway, I need to run this thing three more times to get my uh, list of teams. So I'm going to run it. Raptors. So I'm just going to put my teams in here. Raptors. Oops. Come on, run it again. It says Raptors again. Jazz, ooh, wow. Jazz. How's it not letting me type? Oh, man, I messed up something. Hold on one second. All right, so come back over here where I was typing my teams. Type Jazz. I'm sorry if this video is boring to you guys, but eh, if you play my league, this is a way to spruce it up. And Bulls. Okay, come back over here. Type Bulls. So I really don't need a start date for this. Uh, this one right here for Devin Booker. I am going to definitely, let's see, his start date, you know, I'll just say week, week one and have it in week three. So I will have to go and remember to... Uh, Increase all his stuff back by seven by week three. And let's see another storyline. Okay, why does this go up here? Because that's not where I had it. Control C. Put this stuff back over here. All right. I don't know why this says that. So I'll just run it again. All right. 
so now it says this is the one I'm going to stick with. I'm going to archive it. It says Timberwolves, player number two. Surprise decline in point guard skills. You know what? All right, so let's see if I can clear that one. I think it's actually, when I press clear, it clears everything up here. So let's run. Okay, so let's start it over. Between three and nine. Run. Oh, this sucks. Nine is my upper limit. Run. Okay. Run. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't know if it'll mess up anything, but let's find out. Delete bro. All right, it says Raptor surprise breakout finishing skills for two weeks. This one was two weeks. I don't want this. I'm just gonna run it till I see something interesting. Ah, uh, here we go. 76er player needs surgery. So player number 10 for the Sixers. Gonna archive this. Here we go. Player needs surgery. Moderate. Apply injury between 45 and 90 days. So I will find out which player was player 10 on their roster list. Put his name in here um, and apply injury between 45 and 90 days. Now, the start date is up to you. Basically, you can start it immediately or whenever you want to. But for me. You know, I'm not going to do it right now, but this this tool is crazy. This tool is really nice and fun. So if you're still with me, which hopefully you guys are, there's so many things, so many things that you guys, so many events that you can have happen. Let's see. The cliff is near decreased potential by three to 12 points. And of course, you would. You would use that random number generator if you wanted to uh, decide how many to decrease the potential by. Let's see. Untapped potential. Best shape of life. I like that. Ooh, I like that. Out of shape. <laughs> All right. What else do they have? Minor surgery. Positive PED test. So a player will get 25 game suspension. How can you suspend get players in this game? I don't know. I guess you just take them out of the lineup. I don't think you can actually. There's not an actual option to suspend players, but I guess you would just take them out the lineup and then bring them back at, at a certain point. But that's pretty cool, man. What is Legium? Let's see. Player asked to acquire a specific player. Either by trade or upcoming free agency, run sheet again to get team and player ID that is being requested. It's pretty cool. It will suck though if you uh the team and player that you request is like a uh just like a role player. Anyway. Player won't resign, help wanted. Uh, destination wedding. We already saw that. It's plenty of stuff in here. A lot of breakouts and declines for different attribute areas. Let's see. I could, man, I could think of so many storylines. Now, you can add in your own storylines if you want, your own little events. And you can add in the event description, stuff like that. I'm actually thinking about using this spreadsheet and um, converting it into like a college recruiting spreadsheet. That's what I'm thinking about. But I don't know. <laughs> right now, it will probably take me a while to make it a college recruiting spreadsheet. But hey, I like it. It's pretty cool. It's very simple. I actually have a college uh, recruiting spreadsheet for if you guys didn't know but all right so i'm done with this video i'll probably come back to this tool and actually use it for my league show you guys how to use it i mean not show you how to use it but use it for in my league show you guys the tool in action 
um, without just talking about it. But anyway, just wanted to get this out for the My League heads. Let them know this is actually out there. Uh, and until next time, I'm gone.